everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel today I'm going to be making myself a caldo de res that is a beef stew so let me tell you what the ingredients are going to be I'm going to start off with some beef stew meat this is boneless I already cut up for me which is really nice and then I've got three neck bones I would have liked some oxtail but my store was out so this is what I'm going to be using I'm also going to be using a little potato. There's actually two little red potatoes. I've got one zucchini and about a quarter of a cabbage there. I've got a chopped small to medium onion here, three carrots that I've sliced, and about three celery sticks that I've also sliced up. I'm going to be using cauliflower rice in my soup, some beef broth, and I will season with salt and pepper and some chicken bouillon. I will be using olive oil not shown in this video and I've got my pot here ready to go so let's get cooking. Okay so my pan is nice and hot and I'm gonna pour about two tablespoons of olive oil. I have seasoned the beef with salt and pepper so I'm going to go ahead and put these pieces inside and I'm going to put the season side down and then I'll just season the other side. All right, so I have seasoned uh, the beef on both sides. Make sure that uh, salt and pepper is on both sides. And I'm going to let this uh, sear for a moment. So I pushed in these uh, small pieces of the stew meat right in between the bones. I'm going to let that cook for a couple of minutes and then I'll Stir them around to make sure that the other side gets seared as well. All right, a couple of minutes later and I've turned the meat around and I'm going to sear it on the other side. Okay, so I've taken out the meat and I've set it aside on a plate and then I've added a little bit of water to get all those uh, meat flavors that are stuck at the bottom of the pan. And as you can see, I have a nice dark color now. I'm gonna let that evaporate a little bit and then I'm gonna add about another tablespoon or half a tablespoon of some more olive oil and then we'll add some veggies in there. All right, so I've added the oil and now I'm adding the celeries, carrots, and onions into the pan and I've actually lowered my heat to a medium. So now I'm gonna saute these for maybe two, three minutes and then we'll put the meat back in. All right, so three minutes later, and I've gone ahead and I've already seasoned uh, my little vegetables here. I added a little bit of salt and some pepper to it. So now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this chicken bouillon. So you wanna add very little salt because this already has some salt in it. So it just depends on your taste buds and of course your health requirements. Now, one thing I didn't mention is uh, I also have two cups of water set aside. And I'm gonna add about, this is like a tablespoon of minced garlic. I don't have any fresh, but I love using this minced garlic, so that'll do. If you don't have either one of those, use garlic powder. Make sure it's powder, not garlic salt, you guys, because that's more salt than it is garlic. So buy yourself garlic powder. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've added the potatoes and the zucchini into this, and I'm just stirring it together to get all them seasonings on the potato and the zucchini as well. I just did two little small potatoes because um, I can't have it and as you can see they're kind of big pieces so I can dig them out uh, and uh, I love the zucchini so nice big zucchini for that or two small ones whatever you want to use or if you want to use a Mexican squash for this that is perfectly fine. Of course Mexican squash is a little more tender so you don't want to put it at this point you can wait till later. Okay so now I'm going to add my 32 ounces of beef broth. This is uh, unsalted, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, like I said, the uh, chicken bouillon has plenty of salt in it, so I don't need to add any extra salts. So I'm using unsalted. It's 32 ounces, like I said, or uh, equivalents of four cups. There we go. I'm gonna get that in there, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat in there as well. All right, so now that I've added the meat, I can see how high up the broth has come up. So like I said, I had two cups of water reserved on the side. So I'm gonna add just enough water to cover, you know, that meat and the little bones that are floating upward. And uh, I do have some cabbage. I don't know if I said lettuce earlier, but I meant to say cabbage. So I have my cabbage and my rice cauliflower, but that's gonna go on at the very end. I'm gonna let this uh, covered like this. I'm gonna cover it up. Leave this on medium heat. 
and I'm going to watch this and it's probably going to cook for about an hour and if I have to lower the heat just so nothing boils over or steams out of this you know you want to cover it well uh, you can lower the heat but just keep looking at it and once everything is nice and really tender especially that meat when it's really nice and tender and your vegetables are all cooked, uh, that's when we want to uh, pull it out. So we want to cook it for about an hour, maybe two hours even, if possible. But in the last uh, hour is when I'm going to be adding, or last, like 30 minutes or so, is when I'm going to be adding the cauliflower and the cabbage to this. Cabbage really goes on at the very end. And then, of course, if you want, you could also have some limes ready. So when you serve it, you can squeeze some lime into it. So let's cover this up and we'll be back in about an hour, maybe a little bit more. All right, it's been an hour, so it's time to check our caldo, our soup. It smells incredible inside the house, you guys. I stepped outside for a little while. When I walked back in, oh my God, the smell or the scent. <laughs> it was so delicious. Look at this. It looks so good. Um, let's check the, the beef here. Yep, it's coming off a little bit easier. It's not quite where I would need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in the rice cauliflower. I'm going to chop this up, you know, kind of almost shred it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and add it in there. Now, if you like your cabbage a little crunchy, you might want to wait till the end to add it. I want it to get soft and cooked in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the cauliflower is in there. And you could also choose to just steam your cauliflower on the side, add a little bit of seasonings, and instead of putting it in here, like I said, serve it on the side. But I want it in there. I want this to be really nice and hearty caldito. There we go. So now I'm going to add uh, the cabbage, and you can see here how I've shredded that up. And I'm just going to lay that on top. And if you wanted, you could also add some uh, cilantro in here right up on the top okay so now i've got another two cups of water and i added about a half a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon mix that up in there and i'm going to add more water to this i've had it at low uh temperature so now i'm going to go low to medium so we can get this all nice and hot again so it starts steaming up and getting that cabbage cooked in there uh, and then we'll check it again i'm going to give it about another 30 minutes maybe a little bit more all right, everyone, it has been another 30 minutes, and I've already checked it, and the meat, look at that, just breaks in half very easily. There's our nice uh, neck bones, looking really good. Look at that meat on there. Oh, my God, it's ready to just come right off. And all the veggies, look at that. Everything is so nice. It's super thick. If you want it a little bit, uh, you know, more soupy, well, put it in a bigger pot <laughs> than what I did and add uh, maybe another four cups of that chicken broth. But there you go. <clears throat> this is done. Uh, I might leave it maybe another 15 minutes, cover it up, and then we'll serve it and give it a taste. All right, everyone, my caldo is ready and it is now going to be served up. I actually let it cook for almost two hours. Look how good that looks. Ooh. So let's serve this up. All right, and as I suggested, you want to squeeze some lime on there. I mean, you could even top it off with some cilantro. That looks so good and it smells delicious. Let's try out some of this beef here. Let's get a little carrot in there. Mm-hmm, you guys, this is so good. I forgot to remove the little potatoes off of my serving, but it is still delicious. <laughs> We're going to move those out of the way there. I need to get another piece of this beef. Look at that. My camera keeps steaming up, but there we go. It is so yummy, so hearty, and perfect for a nice cold day. It has been kind of cool here, not really cold. But for some of you, I know it's super cold. Make yourself some caldo de res or some beef stew or soup, whatever you want to call it, you guys. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below. And let me know what you think of this recipe. Are you going to try it? 
Look at that. You have your own recipe you want to share with us? I have my Facebook page, Trisha's Creation. The link is in the box um, description box below so that you can share your recipe there and also post a picture of it. So there we go, everyone. Make sure you subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button and then the little notification bell so that you get notified of when I put up my videos, which is twice a week. Share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.